what a normal scar looks like. What's up guys, it's Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar back at it again with another vlog. Today's topic is, am I exaggerating how Ghana is good for me? So sometimes, you know, I run across these people in the comments, I run across people in general that just want a sob story um, about Africa, about this move and how it's working out for me and all of that. Um, and I kind of want to talk about, am I exaggerating? Am I making up something that's not the reality? Something that's key about this is preparation. I could absolutely be subject to, good evening, hi. <laughs> I could absolutely be subject to people falling into scams, um, people, you know, having the sob stories, people becoming stranded, people not having success in their move. One critical difference between them and me is the preparation, you know. I've been frequenting Ghana for years before I moved here. Um, I've been immersing myself in the culture, you know, trying to learn the music and the foods and, you know, the language and cultural norms. All those things have helped me transition. So, yes, to answer you, Ghana is good for me. And I'm not exaggerating my life. I don't have no sob story to tell y'all. You know, I know that's probably, some of y'all, that's what you want. Some of y'all don't want to hear success stories from the continent. Y'all want everybody to be messed up so it can give you some kind of pleasure. But in my case, that's just not the story. The story is, you know, I can't say happily ever after, but it was definitely a move for the positive, you know? It was a move for the best. So tonight, guys, on this vlog, this is an evening vlog, you see that um, it's just about six o'clock. So by the time 6.30 heads in, it will be nightfall. We don't do daylight savings here in Ghana. It's 6 a.m. sunrise, 6 p.m. sunset all year long. So today I'm going to my favorite tilapia joint. Yes, I'm gonna go sit down and have tilapia and banku. I've taken some of you guys with me in the past. Um, the place is not that far from my house, probably like 15, 20 minute walk. I've been indoors all day today. So I found it fitting the way my stomach was craving the tilapia. So yeah, guys, we're on the way. So I'm getting up to the roadside. Um, <laughs> a good evening, dear. <laughs> I'm getting up to the roadside, and I always advise you guys that if you're gonna have your phone now or your camera out recording, just be mindful because there have been incidents of people getting their phone snatched, cameras snatched, valuables at the roadside. So if you're gonna do that, be vigilant. Um, I don't particularly like walking with my phone out. There's one of the Trotskys. He's trying to get me to ride, but I don't need to ride. And as you guys can say, like to see, like I said, it's six o'clock. So this is rush hour traffic. So welcome to a crowd traffic. <laughs> welcome to a crowd traffic. So guys, I've gotten to my favorite spot. Here's the Banku. You guys hear me talk about the Banku a lot. There's a tilapia. Look at it. Oh, a little fish going in my tummy. So you go and you pick up some of the meat. If you guys love fish, you got to try this tilapia when you get to Ghana. This is the local foods I'll be telling y'all about. Y'all see that I eat it? The banku. Mmm. I love it. Yeah, 
So you guys will be proud of me. Y'all see I already started when I fish. I almost forgot about the vlog yet again. But basically I don't have a soft string on it because I prepare well. That's it. Use common sense. Don't be disrespectful. Be open-minded. Same stuff I say all the time. But I guess, you know, it depends if you want to hear me or not, you know? <laughs> all right, guys. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.